all right hello welcome back to another video in today's video i'm going to show you how to quickly create some binder rings in keynote i can also show you how to do this in powerpoint as well if you're interested so when you open up keynote um you're going to click on it i just clicked on a regular standard size and right now we're going to just delete all of the font on the page be sure to subscribe, like, and comment if you are feeling this to help me grow my channel. Um, so what we're gonna do now is go over here to the top. Um, I'm using the um, the desktop version. What we're gonna do is go over here to the top and we're gonna go to shape and we're gonna create some binder rings. I am choosing the kind of squared rounded edges. You're gonna make it as small or as skinny as you want it to. I think this is a good size. So the width is 153, the height is 25. Um, you can see I still have some rounded edges. I'm going over here to color fill. Um, actually, I don't want that one. Hmm. Let's do color fill. You can use the color wheel as well. Let's see. Hmm. I'm just showing you different options, but what I like to do, I'm going to add a picture. What I'm going to do is fill. We are going to add an image. Image fill. There we go. Okay. What I like about this is that it kind of has a little bit of shadow already. So in my opinion, this is pretty cool. So, all right. So now what we're going to do here is add a little bit of shadow. You do not have to do it in this order. I'm gonna add a little bit of drop shadow. You can see here. Now what we're gonna do is create the holes for the binders. So we're gonna go back up to shape and grab a couple of circles and put it to your liking. That looks about right. I'm gonna copy and paste this because I want to do it on both sides. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna send this backwards. Send it back. There we go. Uh -oh. That looks good. We're going to do the same for this. Just put it right on top. We're going to send this backwards as well. There we go. Now, again, you can make your holes as small as you want to. I'm going to bring it down just a tad bit. All right, cool. I like that. Um, so now what I'm going to do is copy, group the whole thing. Let's right click. We're going to group. When I group it, it just allows all the elements to stay in one place. And now what I'm going to do is also copy and paste. Now I'm going to copy and I'm going to show you, we're going to copy this twice because I'm going to show you what else we're going to create as well. So paste, we're going to leave this one over here to the side. And then we're going to paste again. And I'm going to just paste a few of these. Now make sure that when you space these out, you have enough room that you feel is best for you in whatever binder you're creating. So we have about four, you can see how it's gonna look on the way page, on the um, spiral going down. So what I'm gonna do here is group all of these together. And now that's gonna, again, allow me to have them all as one element, I'm gonna paste it. Okay, I wanna copy the whole thing and paste. Copy. Now we're gonna paste it. And it just makes me makes it easier to align as you go down. As you can see, this is the whole page of binders. All the way down. Perfect. Let me just make sure everything is all even. All right, cool, that looks good to me. So what I'm gonna do here is ungroup this side over here because I want to create a binder ring for just one side of a binder. So let's say if you have a fold the binder, this is what it's gonna be for. So again, we're gonna group these. Boom. Let me just put these near each other. So ideally, when you 
Ideally, when you do save these, you want to make sure that they are saved um, as separate images. Now what we want to do is when we save this, we want to make sure that it's saved as a transparent, no fill background. So I'll just simply click on it, um, click here. We're going to make sure that it is saved as a no fill. There we go. And this is simply how it's going to show up. And just make sure you don't have a black binary rings. If so, you will just change the holes. Um, so now what I want to do, so now this is going to be saved, export. I'm going to export this as an image. I want to export it as an image. I'm going to go down here to PNG. And then you see here, export with transparent backgrounds. And then we're going to click save. We're just going to create a new document. Again, we're in standard. We're just going to create a new. Just delete everything. So then we can see the binder pages. And if you want to watch um, another video on how I create a digital planner in Keynote, I'll be doing that for you too. Make sure you like and comment and subscribe to help me grow my channel. I'd appreciate it. All right, so I think this is a good enough space in between the two. So what I want to do is just change the colors because I don't want them to be black because remember when we had it on the other screen, um, it will show up the same color all right cool so now what i'm going to do is go ahead and add an image all right cool so this is it this is how the binary rings look you can expand it or or um minimize it as much as you want to so this is how it will look and this is again how what i mentioned by saving them as different files so this is how it would ultimately look on your planner isn't that cute? I love it. And then here is how it will look if it's just a single. There we go. And if it's just one folded. All right. And if you want to minimize the size, you can definitely do that as well. All right. That's all for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I truly appreciate it.